Hello, my name is Zub Jones. I'm a graduate student at the Faculty of Aerospace Engineering, Technion Israel. I represent the last year of progress and achievements of the Active Aeroelastic Aircraft Testbed Project, H3TB for short, a flexible aircraft for aeroelastic research and technology implementation. The H3TB was developed over three years as the capstone project of three groups of undergraduate students. I headed the project in its first year and stayed deeply involved till today. Two versions were designed, produced, and made the full flight test. The first version, G1, was presented at last year's conference. Today, I will tell you about the second and improved versions, G2, and the flutter flight test conducted last April. With the G2 design completed, the platform is ready to serve as an aeroelastic research testbed. For details about the refinements and upgrades made between the two versions, see the full paper. The motivation for designing the HRTB stems from aeroelastic challenges of modern aircraft. As new aircraft configurations are threading through increasingly more flexible designs, aeroelastic phenomena become more prominent, posing challenges on aircraft design. Among them is flutter instability that often leads to catastrophic structural failure thus limiting an aircraft's flight envelope. On the other hand, wing flexibility can be beneficial than leverage to achieve optimal performance. The benefits and challenges of flexible wings motivated several research programs aimed at flexible wing control for flutter suppressions, load, elevation, and performance optimization. Inspired by correct and past aeroelastic experimental platforms, as the X-56 and the multi-utility aeroelastic demonstrator, shown in this picture here, the active aeroelastic aircraft testbed was designed to serve as a low-cost experimental platform for aeroelastic research and technology implementation. Shown here is the A3TB configuration. The flying wing geometry was adopted from the multi-utility aeroelastic demonstrator, Lockheed Martin's X-56 predecessor. The A3TB has a wingspan of 3 meters and a cord of 0.3 meters. The rectangular wings are swept back by 22 degrees and twisted by 3 degrees washout. A symmetric NACA 0012 airfoil was selected for its zero pitching moment coefficient. The wings are fitted with 8 running edge control surfaces and wing tips fins for increased lateral stability. The A2TB structure is 3D printed in segments from PA12 nylon. The segments are connected via laminated carbon fiber. The whole configuration is wrapped in polyester foil that provides aerodynamic shape. Overall, the A2TB weights a little over 11 kilograms. The platform is fitted with an electrical propulsion system with off-the-shelf components. and designed to fly at sea level at about 20 meters per second and maneuver at 1.5 g. By taking off from vehicle and belly landing, more battery time is available for flight and allowed 20 minutes of flight time. In order to be used as a testbed, sensors at the center of gravity and wingtips with an onboard data acquisitions are installed as shown here. All disciplines are backed up by high fidelity models. Aerodynamic analysis provided the aerodynamic forces and moment derivatives for trim and stability analysis. Derivatives of the rigid and flexible configurations were computed with zero aeroelastic software and with the EZNSS aeroelastic CFD code. Here, for example, is a picture of pressure coefficient distribution on the wing with deflected control surfaces. And here is the CFD computed sectional CP distribution over the span. The lift coefficient versus angle of attack indicates that the wing stalls at approximately 11 degrees angle of attack and the maximum lift coefficient is 0.75. Reynolds average Navier Stokes analysis provided the drag coefficient at different angle of attack values. The flying wing configuration has a high aerodynamic efficiency of 19. The HRTB is longitudinal stable with 10% mean aerodynamic cord margin and is literal stable with the backward swept fins. 
More details about the design and analysis can be found at the paper. A common requirement in flight tests is maintaining altitude and airspeed. For that, a flight control system was designed. Shown in the video is a hardware in the loop simulation that was developed based on the platform's models and used to test the control system. The control system is expected to be tested on the next flight. In order to conduct a flutter flight test, a high fidelity flutter analysis is mandatory. The flutter prediction was based on free body model analysis using Nastran and verified with a free body ground vibration testing at our lab. As the table shows here, there are some differences between the model and the GVT results. As we are about to see, they had negligible effect on the results. A GVT was conducted also post-flight to check the possibility of damage due to flutter and the impact at the landing. The results indicate on structural dynamic properties preservation. In April 2021, the FL production was done. All ground testing indicated that the platform is ready for flight. The goals of the maiden flight test were proof of flight after the changes from the first version, aerodynamic and aeroelastic model validation, and demonstrate flutter in manual control. For flutter analysis, the vertical acceleration and pitch rate at the center of gravity and wind tips were measured in correlation with the airspeed. This video shows the takeoff and one out of three flutter events. The vehicle speeds up to the rotation speed, and when it reaches the pilot spots on the runway, the pilot manually opens the throttle and takes off, avoiding flutter while climbing to a safe altitude. After trimming, the plane goes into level flight and slowly gaining speed. When the flutter is visually noticeable, the pilot recovered by lowering the throttle and pulling up. The full flight video can be found on YouTube. The results of the flight test confirmed the flutter prediction. Shown here is the VG plot of the pre flight analysis. The first zero crossing was predicted to be at 25 meters per second, while at the flight test, the oscillations initiated at 24 meters per second. The frequency versus airspeed plot predicted flatic frequency of 4.3 Hz, while from the collected data using fast Fourier transform, the FFT frequency was found at 4.2 Hz. The flight test proved the platform can safely recover from flutter extremely important ability for Flutter research testbed. The Flutter analysis predicted symmetric body freedom Flutter mode, a BFF, which involves rigid body pitch with first bending modes, as can be seen in the animation. Just by watching the video from the flight, we can note that the Flutter mode indeed was a BFF. The figure shows here are the out-of-plane acceleration and pitch rate over time of one flutter test. A phase shift between the center of gravity and wind tips is noticeable along with coloration of the wind tips, which indicates on symmetric BFF modes. Plus, we can see the maximal out-of-plane acceleration at the center of gravity section reach 6G, show the load-bearing capabilities of the printed structure. The airspeed over time plot shows flutter mode excite at airspeed close to the estimated flutter airspeed, as mentioned on the previous slide. The flutter flight test paved the way for more research opportunities. A first in a series of wing tunnel flutter prediction tests at the University of Michigan took place last October. Controlled flight is planned for later this year to make the airframe ready for implementation of the flutter suppression control system that was presented at this year's conference. All the data is available for sharing and the platform is available for other elastic research. Feel free to contact me via the email address shown here. To conclude, the A3TB is a 3D pretend flying wing configuration designed for aeroelastic research and technology demonstration. 
The ATTB was designed to experience flutter within the flight envelope for future studies on flutter suppression. Flutter analysis predicted the onset of a body freedom flutter at 25 meters per second and a frequency of 4.3 Hz. These were validated in a flight test. The full paper also includes details about control surface efficiency or partial system design, limit cycles of oscillations during the flutter, and more. I hope you enjoyed my presentation. Thank you very much for listening.